Good morning, everyone. This is Paula back. Um, I know I've been missing a little bit random videos and so forth, but um, over the springtime, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break and um, my videos won't be every day. So, I'm trying to do maybe like two a week right now, and I hope you'll support me in that while I take a, a little bit of time off. Um, so, I am going to continue today by starting the Traveler's Notebook for Cheaply Chic. I'm on the design team for that, and this month, Lynette has outdone herself. We are doing home sweet home. It could be farm sweet farm. It could be chicken sweet chicken or any other animal or fruit or vegetable. It is an adorable collection. I'm not sure who the collection's by. Let me look here and I can tell you. It's um, Cartabella's collection and it's farm to table is what it's called so yeah if you want to go out and make yourself one just like this that's great or i would suggest you go over to lynette's channel and just buy yourself one i'm not sure of what her stock is right now um because when they're gone they're gone so you need to rush over there and check it out. And I'll put a link below for Lynette's Etsy shop. I hope all of you are doing great. Uh, I don't know how many pages we'll get done today. I have a couple ready. But first I want to, I'm going to scoot the journal to the side for now. But let me show it to you real quick. It has an orange tie on it. Isn't that pretty? This is like an orange handkerchief almost fabric here in the back you can see the paper with the, with the baby chicks and the rooster and the the hen but anyway yeah it this is adorable it is just adorable Annette you've outdone yourself okay how she comes up with all these ideas I have no idea but she does and they're as cute as they can be all right so I'm gonna scoot this to the side because we're gonna take an envelope like this, just kind of a return envelope that I got in the mail. Okay, and we're gonna take it apart and make it flip out from the page. So, I've only done that one that you see there, so hopefully it won't be that difficult. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on it and hope for the best. So, I did put two pockets on mine because I wanted a front and back pocket because when I stuffed my tag down into the envelope um, after it's been reconstructed, um, I want a pocket back here for whatever I'm putting in there to go in. Uh, and just, you know, so it will stay in your book. And then you can see through the window. Okay, whatever's it, whatever tag you make out of um, uh, some kind of print. We're going to cover this and make it go with the theme of our journal. If there's a theme, if not, just do however you want. All right, so, and I'm also doing a pocket for the front. So let's take this other one apart. And you just have to be pretty careful. Um, and if it's too tall for your book, which sometimes they are, you can, when you have this torn apart, it's the best time to link, uh, shorten um, the length of the envelope. Just be careful not to rip it. It's gonna, it's gonna be close and you're gonna go, ah, but it does. I try not to cut off and, and link and shorten it on this end because, you know, it's around the window and I want to keep that all in place. So let's pull this up and this out. Now, this is what you're going to have. You're going to have everything just 
sprawled out there. And you're going to look at this. This is how it's going to start. Now, if we pull this one over and just let it sprawl out, you can see that this was cut off to make the pockets. This Whatever's on the left side. And this was shortened. And I just freehanded it. You can do it straighter if you put it on the trimmer. And then up here, let me see. I cut off this flap up here at the top. And I think I kept it on the bottom. I did because I wanted to put my pocket in here and then flip my pocket up and hold on to it. So that's what we did there. But the first thing we're going to do is get our trimmer. And I'm going to try to get you in where you can be in the video here. Listen, I just got back from, from a four-day uh, retreat. And I'm very, very, very <laughs> tired because my allergies, I don't know if you can hear it. And if I start coughing, I apologize. Uh, my allergies are just making me nuts. You guys ever have to deal with that? So this is, I'm just making sure I've got this on here straight, and I do. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. And so see, we're ready to go on that. But while we're at it, let's trim off the sticky portion on this side. Just line it up nice and straight on your trimmer. You don't want to cut any more than you have to. So I'm basically just cutting the sticky portion of the envelope off. Making sure everything's straight as possible. It's not gonna be a big deal if it's not perfect. Okay, there we go. So I'm tossing this little piece. Okay, so now I want us to make um, some pockets. So we're going to take this leftover piece of this attractive envelope and we're going to, we want to make sure what size it is from here to here. So we need to measure that. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down on my trimmer so I don't have to get my envelope, I mean my um, ruler out to, to uh, measure my envelope. Okay, so we're looking at four inches across. So we need two pockets at four inches. And probably, let's do them about, let me see what I did on the sample. Three inches tall. So four by three, like a journaling card or like a Project Life card. And what I did is I just took this end piece and, and trimmed it off like this so it'd be straight instead of a kind of an oval shape on the ends and that way I just uh, I just kind of cut that I'm gonna trim a little bit more off okay now let's see I'll take four inches and trim that right here you want to make sure you even up your uh, areas that are going to be showing. So this is a, I took it to three inches, and it's going to clean up that top edge also. There you go. Except I didn't get that very little tip there. Okay, lay that to the side and do it again with the second piece, four inches wide, which is almost perfect it is and then we're going to do three inches tall that couldn't be working out more perfect right so you only have to use one envelope and i'm going to tell you i really don't know who came up with this i'm going to say that it was wendy journal adventures wendy's journal adventures okay and if you don't watch her, you need to watch her. Okay, she's great. So now I'm just going to do a little, little bit of a punch of a circle 
I'm using a one inch. And, and you want to center it. So I'm putting them together. You want to center it from side to side. You want to make sure your tag is in the right location for you. It never is perfect, but I, I try to get as close as I can. Sometimes it's all to one side, and then it suddenly becomes a different kind of tag. I, arrange, I have arranged for it to be different. Now, these are just going to be flat tags. They're not going to be like, you know, deep tags that open and close. Long envelope. Here it is. Okay. So, you could do this on the right. You could do it on the left of your page. Uh, I think in this situation, I want to do it on the left. Which means that when I get my paper, let's just pretend that this little paper here is a journal page. Obviously, it's too short, but we're, we're not going to worry about that because you're going to cut this pot, bottom portion down to make sure it fits in your journal. So, if you have an eight and a half inch tall journal, you don't want this to be more than eight and a half inch tall. The width is fine unless it's less than four. Okay? So, we're going to put this like this on here, like we're going to tuck it in and and then make sure your little pocket comes over and is straight here at the bottom. Okay. Now, anything you put inside this this little pocket at the after the pocket's on is going to show through the window. Okay. Now, we are going to go ahead and put these little pockets on. And, of course, you know, measurements vary just by a tiny bit. Like, this is going to be no exception to that rule. So, you're going to put your pocket on the end that does not have the window. Now, I'm going to glue this down. I probably should have measured this first, then did my punch, if I want it to be perfect. But, I'm going to glue this down, and then I'm going to cut out or cut off any thing that's hanging over, okay? And then we'll add the glue there. So just put glue along the edge. Try not to be as messy as I am. Of course I'm messy. And we're just putting a little bit there and a little bit here. You just want to make sure it holds your pocket on. Doesn't take a whole, whole lot. And you're going to make sure you snug it up into the corners of, this, of the envelope and this, so it will be straight. Now, I'm going to have some glue come out because I'm telling you, my glue thing just does its own thing. It actually, you can just go like this and roll off any Fabri-Tac you're you don't want. Now, I this is only for the fabric tack that I'm talking right now. I've got something under there, but it's going to stay. Okay, so we know this side. Oh, no, I put it on all four sides. We're good. Um, but I did get it on my finger just then. So, I um, probably should have waited and not put any on this side until... I had it the size it needs to be because now it's hanging over and I've got to use an old pair of scissors to cut through this tag that has glue on it, which means clean up later. Okay, so put it, cut it where you want it to be flush right here. And then we're going to take the second pocket Okay, what did I do with the second pocket? Because I know that's just one. Let me look. Hmm. This is it. Right here. So now we're going to flip this over. And we're going to do the same thing on the second side. 
Now, if you want to decorate your pocket before putting it on, you can do that also. Because um, it's going to be fine. So I'm going to flip this over and go ahead and I'm getting it. I'm getting the measurement on here. I think I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. Okay. There we go. Now, hopefully I did better at that. Get it snug up in the corner. There we go. Glue's coming out. Of course it is. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to trim this off right here. But I'm going to try to get some of that glue off first. Look at it oozing out of there. Oh, my goodness, Paula. It's not a big deal. It's just an envelope, right? And what we'll do is just rub it till it comes off. I don't have my adhesive tool with me right now. I'm going to let it dry just a tiny bit so that it doesn't move the rest of your um, pocket whenever we rub the glue off. I'm gonna wipe my scissors. You wanna keep your scissors clean because it affects how they cut. Okay, now we're gonna go like this. Get anything off that might be on there. Same thing over here, we're gonna rub it. Try not to rip a hole. So this is the side we did first. So I got all the glue off of that. So let's flip it over and do it on this side. Even though that's not super, super duper straight. So I'd love to hear what you guys did this weekend. We have had a lot of company and we're not accustomed to it, so we loved every moment of it, but we're really pooped. Um, two of my friends came down and stayed in our upstairs guest room, and then my sister and her husband stayed in the downstairs guest room, and um, we were full, and it was wonderful. We loved it. But prior to that, Charlie, Mommy, Daddy, and Lucy came for three days, or two days. And um, so we've had a full house. Oh, and then on Monday, my sweet son came to pick up something that a friend of his purchased. And so, yeah, we've been busy. I would say we've been busy. Now, I'm just going to take this little leftover flap and it's gonna get stuck over. Um, let me get this glue. I just put a big old glob of glue on the table. Now, why would I do that? Who knows, right? Okay, now here we go. We're gonna fold it up just like that. And you wanna make sure any excess glue is gone off of here. I don't have any this time, believe it or not. And so I'm good, but if for some reason your envelope doesn't have this slant, you want it to on all, on all sides. Now this one on the top is the one we're gonna cut off. I just forgot to have us do that. Just cut off it, cut it off on the edge. Now another thing I forgot to do, I'm so sorry is measure this to see what size we need it to be for my book, which is no more than eight and a quarter, okay? That's what I'm going for. I want to make sure it fits into the traveler's notebook. So if I decide I want to put it in this page, 
on this side. I would do like this, just like you would with anything, and flip it over. Now, some people might take that little flap uh, that I folded over and put it on, um, and put it on a better way. They'll fold, instead of folding it onto the envelope itself, you could fold it down here over onto the page. That's what I'm trying to say. But you can see also that it's, um, it's too tall. So I should have shortened it a little more. And I think I can because we got some extra space. But I am doing it freehand, so no promises. I know we're going to use the one that I've already got out there. Just mainly want to make sure everything is on just like you want it to be. Before you abandon the crafter. So there we go. That's how it will be. On that side and on this side, it will be like this. So now let's cover our our page and see if we got this the right length or does it still? It still needs to have some taken off. So let me see if that's going to be enough. We'll find out real soon. So let's decide where we want to put this first. Hmm. So let's put it right here. Not that, I'm not that picky. So I'm just going to butt it up and make sure there's no paper hanging down from the paper in the journal here at the bottom. I don't want that to happen. And I'm going to glue this part here. All of this is once we've decorated, okay? And then when you flip it over, it's gonna be like any other flip out you do, except it's gonna have a pocket here that's holding your tag. So let's get busy decorating, because that's gonna take a little bit. I thought we could use um, some vintage wallpaper by Taylor Made Crafts uh, to cover it. Now, let me grab her wallpaper scraps out. Some of them, they're just kind of a variety. It's not just tailor -made. This is not the tailor-made ones. I'm sorry, it's Tracy Fox. Okay. Are things that didn't, um, I really wanted to use the tailor-made. But I'm not finding it down here where it should be. I'm sorry, guys. Knocking things off. I don't know what I did with it. Well, no worries. We'll just do this. And let's get this glue right here. So we don't get it on our papers. Get my tear tool. Because I like to use that for sure. Okay. Let me get my scissors I dropped. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm telling you that coughing has about killed me over the weekend. I'd go to talking with my friends before you know it. I'm like hacking and coughing. Here's a whole bunch that's been torn already, it looks like, that I had left over. And my scraps, my digital scraps. I like to use my digital scraps to collage because it's thinner when I do pages. You know, it, it just comes out much thinner. So we're not worried about the color because, you know, any color is going to work. But red and yellow or red and orange and green are kind of the colors. This is the orange. It's kind of a red orange. Okay. All right, so we're gonna collage. Let's see, I do like this green right here. So maybe we just tear that. Where is my ruler? I grabbed the wrong ruler, old lady. 
You know you're getting old when you don't know your ruler from your, your tear ruler. Okay, I did. I'm just playing. Okay, so here we go. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going for perfection. I just thought this would look cute on the top, right? Now, in this situation, we do have to have a book and a glue stick. Because you want to deca you want not decoupage, you want to glue it down with a glue stick. That way you don't uh have to use a bunch of glue to do this. It's be a big waste. Although my glue sticks cost quite a bit the last time. I was not happy about that. What used to be like $22 was like $10 higher. No, it was actually $30. It was $20. So I was like, are you serious? It's like they know the things that people really want to use, you know. We got little craft spies out there. So when, when my daughter and her family came, they were headed to Cincinnati where the children's hospital is to get Charlie, my grandson, his yearly physical. Now, Charlie has to be watched the rest of his life, but um, things have been looking up, so that's good, right? Now, I'm going to take this little piece, because I want that strip across there, and match it up and put it right there. Now, other than that, I don't know that I want anything matchy-matchy. Okay. Okay. The rest of it's just going to be covered in paper. Try my very best to line it up. I guess I could have folded that over. Dummy, dummy. Sometimes you don't think much further than your nose, right? That would be me today because I'm not completely focused as I normally would be. I am focused. I mean, I prepared all this. It's just, you know what I'm talking about. I could be doing a little bit better job. Let's see. Let's do some of this green to go down this side. I'm thinking we'll just put it down this side right here. And that way, you know exactly where we want to tear so that it fits in the pocket window. I'd rather have it hanging over into the window a little bit. Wow, was that close to the window, but that's okay. I say I'm not doing matchy-matchy, but I just realized they're both green. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah, my husband's helping me out today. He's he's getting some laundry done and picking up the kitchen and loading the dishwasher. It feels like the things that are dirty when you have company are not the same kind of things that would be dirty other times. I'm so weird. I wonder, how does that work, you know? But... They, my my friends were so clean and neat. Okay, so now 
we'll just continue putting it on. We need a small one for right here. And we'll do the other side too, most likely. Let me see if we already have some little tiny ones. All right, let's do some of this blue. I kind of like it. So what I want to do with it is I want as much blue as I can get on this little strip. So I want it to be about like that. I'll tell you too that this paper is easy, easier to collage with, but also hard to tear whenever you're doing little bitty sections. Of course, we get down to this very last piece. There we go. Oh my goodness. So there's that one. Let's get it put on. And no, I don't have COVID. I've been asked that. No, I don't. I am so allergic to the Bradford pear tree that blooms in the spring everywhere in Oklahoma, and I'm discovering it's in Branson, which I didn't expect it wouldn't be, but um, anyway, so it takes some getting used to. So I'm going to put this blue right here. It's like a perfect fit. What's up with that? So my paper is sticking, which means it's time to change it. But we're gonna go ahead and glue this down first. Of course, when it dries, it won't feel sticky. You'll find that it's different. So we're gonna tear this off. As soon as I get the glue off my finger. There we go. Ah! It likes me too much. Well, it's not wanting to fold right. That's because I'm trying to fold it straight and it wants to fold crooked. And that's all right. I'll let it. But it'll be different when I actually use it. <laughs> so the kids had a lot of fun at Grandpa. Grammy and Pawpaws. Lucy did better than she normally does with her dog allergy. I'm going to put this down here at the bottom. I'm kind of liking that one. Yeah. I will be gone a little bit and I'll be busy right now. I'm trying to Get everything cleaned up from everything. So they took them to some touristy place in Branson. Kids had fun. That's kind of what they do with them. They take them a little different little places. Well, I'm covering up now where I didn't realize it till this second where we're going to put our pockets. So I need to backtrack. I'm not going to pull it off, though. Um, let me backtrack so I don't mess up. Let's get this blue going here.
There we go. I keep wanting to grab my glue, my glue, my regular glue off the table. But this stuff is supposed to be one of the best glue sticks. So there we go on that. So I'm gonna, in order to finish this side, I want to um, roll in. Okay, now I'm gonna flip this over. We're gonna decorate this side real quick. But you, let's see here. We'll put this up here. I think I want to put it right here next to the window. Sorry, I just got quiet because I'm concentrating so hard. <laughs> Here's another one of these little things. I wonder if it'll go up there. I don't think it'll be enough, but there's a different one here. Yeah, that one might be closer, don't you think? Well, no, it's still off by like almost an inch. So we won't even worry about that. But we're going to do blue and red, maybe. If I can get my fingers on what I'm looking for here. There we go. That's, more, that's a little bit closer. So I want to cut it the height. I need it to be. All right. Why am I getting my scissors? I'm going to tear this off right here. Okie doke. Let's get this on here. Okay. See, it's wanting to stick to. You have to be real careful not to lay it over any place you've glued before. And it is a hassle. I know that. I hate it, but I can't do anything about it. Except ask her <laughs> to change the situation. She's not going to like that if I do that too often. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can just find a little bit more of that trim. There's no guarantees. Okay. Yay. No, that's not it. Darn it. Darn it. Let's do some yellow. I like this. How about you? I think this would be pretty on this pocket. And you see it like I see it, that cover that whole pocket. We're still gonna have our banquet though. I wait and see if Cheryl and them left. They probably did. I'm sorry, I just said something to my husband. Right. So, So this collaging things like this is so much fun. I hope you guys try this on your leftover envelopes. Mm, we're going to be a little long, but what we'll do is put it on the top portion of the envelope first. That way it won't be too much of a mess. All right. I tell you, another thing I did at the retreat is I spent too much money. But I worked on an album I've been wanting to make. And um, 
it turned out so cute, or it's going to, and I just finished most of the pages, but I still have two to glue everything down on, and the cover. But I really needed my, um, I'm gonna trim this right here. I really needed my uh, list of things, you know, because she usually um, does collaging on things in her office too, or maybe on a card or something. The place that I, that I go to shop for my scrapbook supplies is in Branson. It's called Scrapbooks and More, and it's awesome. It's been here 20, probably almost 22 years now. I like these little flowers, too. So let's put them across here. But maybe not that kind of angle. Let's see. Try not to mess their car up. But they're working on trying to get it to cooperate. We'll see what happens. Well, I've changed my mind. I think I want to put this right here. Because it's just kind of lively. Who would have known? She's that, um, you know, there's people that you know. This is something I'm talking about from the crop. People you know that can pull off almost anything. Okay, that goes there. Sometimes we'll have trouble. Sorry, I had to have a drink. Plus, you don't know who you're going to set by at retreats, right? Oh, my goodness. My... One of my cropping friends had somebody sitting behind her that was super loud. And she had like a smoker's voice. So you knew that she did something heavy, either smoking or out, drugs or alcohol or something. And, um, and all you want to say is, please leave me alone. <laughs> My friend had one of those that kind of just kept hanging out. Once you say something to someone, you know, they think you're friends and, and now you're committed as far as they're concerned. So I never complain about anything, but I would complain about that if that were to happen, you know, because that would not be cool. And I think I'm going to put this whole big piece on here, but I want it to be more pe peaceful than. Okay, we'll do that. And then this side is done, except the pocket. Okay, let's put it right here. That looks so crooked. I know it's cut crooked, but I don't like that. Let's move it over so it has a more straight look. At least the straightness is on the same side as the other blues. Okay, there we go. Now remember, we're not doing anything else right this moment except cover and our, our covers up. So we can go ahead and do this one now. On the other side, we've got some of the same green and it's pretty much perfect. So we're gonna use that. Let me get this sticky page put away. Okay, here we go. Goodness. Nice. 
So I, I don't know if I've got, I feel like I have allergies, but today I feel more sick than I did. So it's weird. Rick was sick for several days. So we're hoping that that's all we've got. I haven't seen any, have you? Has anyone out there seen um, any Just a moment. I gotta get this straight. Now I'm thinking we need some more blue, don't we? Here's some blue with a little bit of pink, but we don't wanna overcome this pocket. Plus we wanna make sure we punch it. So I'm gonna slide this in. Whoops, you know what I did? <laughs> I just was collaging on here like it was, you know, not a pocket or anything. How funny, Paula. Sometimes I crack myself up. I kind of I kind of spent the uh, the week. Just really staying busy at my table because um, if I got up, I would either spend money or I wouldn't get anything done. I'd end up visiting. Someone always grabs you, you know, and I don't mind. I love that's the, one of the parts of it I love. Okay, so there we go. Try to get my blade to go down. Okay. These are pin blades, just so I know people will ask me. This is a number 15. They usually come in three sizes in a pack at Hobby Lobby. They're called pin blades, and it's printed on the side here. They're very sharp, and you want to always close them after using them because they will cut you. And yes, I've been cut with mine. Okay, so now I'm going to go in here, move in, and try to get my get get my pocket repunched, and hope that I'm in the right spot of where it was. Well, what do you know? Looks like I was. That'd be a first. Now we're going to collage the rest of this. I need to quit talking so I can concentrate. Oh, we're not going to get anything else done. It distracts my, my brain if I do too much. <laughs> Are you guys like that when you're really trying to do something that you haven't done before? So I want to take a day and do some ephemera, you know, for maybe upcoming books. Because I feel like I've got a bunch I need to get done. And um, it's hard whenever you're constantly making a book. So right now I have some books in mind, or journals, I should say. And I have covers that are really cute to put them in. Um, I did a cover on a quilt square that I had gotten in a vintage shop. And... Um, then I put a heart, a padded heart on the front. And then I added lace and doilies and uh, different things to the book itself. Okay, let's see. No, I don't want that up there. Let's find something that will look pretty along that edge. So we're, we've got blue and green pretty much is what's going here. Let's do one of these longer pieces. Now, again, just to FYI, this is uh, Tracy Fox's wallpaper. And um, 
or using hers today. I'm going to do it the opposite direction. I just feel like it whenever you um, pull it from pull it from the bigger side, you have a better chance of it turning out nicely. Okay. My hands aren't super strong, so I have a really hard time keeping my ruler on my paper sometimes. So let's see what I did. Well, that's way smaller than I need and crooked. So we're tossing that. And we're going to do it the right way, just like this. <laughs> The way we know will work, right? Let's do it down here. So what I'll do is tear from the top here, just where this border starts. So it doesn't cover up the little border we made. Now this time, I'm just going to put the glue directly on my envelope. I think it's easier. Now, be sure you don't get it in the window. Because that wouldn't be any fun. Be sad about that. So we're going to go right here under our design on the top. Try to cover up as much of the white as you can. And then... Looks like my window is dirty anyway, which is fine. I'll clean it before I use it. And now we just have this little bit right here, which is going to be hard. So we're going to find some little things to tuck here and there. Like here's a little... Okay, let's just see. I'm just going to tear some little ones. I don't know where it will end up. Okay, let's do it this way. So that covered that portion. And now we just need a little slivery piece right above. So I think we'll just take a little slivery piece off of here. And I do mean slivery. This may be too wide. Let me see. Nope. It is, so we're going to tear from both sides. Keep your fingers crossed. And we'll put glue on it. And take what we get. So, and we'll do the pocket that goes on the one side. Okay. Just like that. Yeah, that's not the best way. Let's do it this way. Close enough. Now, I'm not covering the flap yet, but I will. Uh, so, we haven't put the pocket on the other side. So, let's see what I did with it, first of all. You guys, there. I may have collaged it on here and not even known it. There it is. So let's do this side first. Let's see. Let's get our little envelope going. I'm gonna put this little yellow floral on there. Okay, whoops, well, I just lost my glue stick, which means it's empty. 
it just popped right off. Okay, let me move some of this stuff. It's in my way over here. Okay, here we go. Let's start from the bottom up. You can get this corner down here. Or at least part of it, right? And I'm thinking that we can do this one right here in the center. Okay. Oh, that's silly. This. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm cracking myself up because I picked up the glue stick I just told you was empty. I think that's why old people get called senile. I have had a tiny bit of memory loss, not anything major. I went and had like a little physical and, but she said, I definitely do have some memory loss. And I was like, dang it. I'm gonna be officially old if that happens. No, I'm not worried. No one in my family has had you know any illnesses as far as memory goes and I am um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one while I can see it um so I'm not worried about that and if I did have memory loss that would be what was planned for me and I can't complain okay so now I want to tear I'm putting a variety stuff on this pocket. I want to tear something here on this side that has a little bit of pink and green. I'm not caring about the colors matching necessarily, okay? Where'd it go? There it is. What's funny to me is how this glue can be white and then whenever you get toward the end of it, it turns, I mean blue, when you get to the end of it, it turns more white. I just don't get that. I don't know why it does that. So don't ask me. I need to get my collage book. I need to get some more things going in it. Okay, one more little corner up here. We might as well use some of this same little color. Then we're gonna add color to the tab that folds over to the other page because you want it to be finished where it can actually be incorporated in their life. Okay. Let's see. Ta-da! Okay, let's put our lid. Nope, we're still gonna do the edging. That's, I just told you that, right? And here I am trying to not do it. So, this one will be folded in like this and then flip open. So, I'm going to put it on the right side of the book. Maybe. <laughs> no, it will be. So, you don't have to cover this inside part, just the outside part. And i tell you what I'm going to do. This, I think, will be fun. I'm just going to run glue over this. All right, and then add the paper to the actual flap. 
into the pockets. So these will change a little bit when you when you add paper to them. And that way you don't have to tear so many at a time. And I'm going to go for this pinkish color. This time I'm going to remember not to let this little pocket be a problem. And we, when we finish this today, we won't have time to um, work in the journal today because this video will be too long. But regardless, um, we'll come back and do it in the next video. So I'm just going to trim around the... You want to make sure you're trimming around the uh, flap and not the envelope itself. Okay. Now, this underneath, I'm noticing, doesn't look stuck down. So, maybe that wasn't the best way to do it. <laughs> and I'm thinking, let me get this pulled back. We'll just pull it back and then get it really saturated with glue and then it should be ready to do the last strip I have not slept well in a while so I'm I'm sleep <laughs> deprived and um, I, I have slept more with all the company than I have without it. But, you know, because you go, 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 which I love. That is absolutely not a problem. So I'm going to go like this and do this again. And just do it all the way down. Right there. And... Add it on just like that. So you can actually match it if you want. That's what I just did. And I think it'll look good on the other page. Let it dry and then trim it. I don't, I'm not letting mine dry because of time. But if you can, I think you'll like the results better. And you might have to add extra glue to let it dry again. But that's no biggie. All right, so this is getting crazy, but I love the way this is looking. I will ink it when it dries also. So this will be covered with a journal page. There'll be something here also. And then the theme is going to be, in this book, is Farm to Table. So basically farm animals, which can be a, any one of a lot of animals. But I know we're going to do chickens and ducks, and there'll be a few little lambs in there, and roosters, barn doors, <laughs> barn doors. And um, yeah, so it's going to be fun. Now, let me check the time. Oh, we're over by five minutes nearly. All right, guys. I've had so much fun with you today. I know my head has been spinning uh, doing this video because I have so many things on my mind. But I'm going to try to straighten up and come back and we'll do maybe like three pages. But this is done except adding the pocket right here. Now, what did I do with the pocket? Where did it go? Once again, I've lost the pocket. Where did I lay it? Oh, there it is. Gemini. So this, I will glue this on right here. And then this will be ready to go. And we'll put it in a book and make a tag. All right, guys. 
Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you to all my subscribers that watch me every day. I appreciate you so much. And um, welcome any new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We will have a good time. All right. Bye now.